Good morning, nerds. It's time to uh, do a little throwback Thursday, tabletop Thursday. I don't know. We're workshopping the. Uh, we're workshopping the title here, I guess, a little bit. But today, on our tabletop throwback something Thursday, we're gonna end up in Icewind Dale. Uh, so this is a. This camera is not. No, oh, that, that that's maybe better. Um, I don't know why that source isn't working. Game capture. Ugh, working out the bugs. Uh, let's go with auto. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Nope. Okay. There we go. That's better. Uh, we'll see how small this is. I have no idea what it's going to look like when I have it spread out this big. Um, but <laughs> we're going to go back in time a little bit to... Is this before the Millennium or right after the Millennium? I, I forget. It's going back to my childhood and playing a game I haven't played in... 20 years ish uh, back when you still used to you know put the the CDs in the computer to play games that's, that's a long time ago oh son welcome <laughs> oh boy I think we're gonna actually start playing here <laughs> uh, I haven't watched this thing in in ages wonder how... It's always fun to go back. They say that history is the greatest of all movies. teachers. And the tales of past and deeds define who we are just in how the present. Much things have changed from what we shall be this to in the future. Cinematic type it is said that such tales that shall, with each now, telling, right? illuminate us all with the light of truth. I shall tell you of such a tale. It is a tale quite familiar to me. For I have spent nearly a lifetime piecing it together and chronicling it here within this book. For years I have pondered its passages, studying every line, committing each word to memory. Perhaps yeah, now, I think you're right, son. in the telling it, it of is holding up pretty I good. shall at last find the answers um, I seek. Our story takes place in the northern of region of Faerun, it's, known uh, as Icewind Dale. It is a bad. harsh, frozen land. Cut off from the rest of the world by a wall of jagged to, uh, peaks called the Spine of the um, World. Which I don't For know centuries, the icy plains fall. of the Dale have been home to the barbarian peoples of the Uthgard and Regedmund. Uh, Huddled together in small, closely knit tribes, the barbarians I, lived simply. I would lives, think so. I mean, free, Pathfinder proud, is and fiercely the independent. modern version of this game. Updated for the Pathfinder rule set. Um, Until the day an so archmage I would, I would named Erakon came to Icewind Dale. Is he? <laughs> With an army of mercenaries, uh, Erakon sought to conquer the north and force the fierce barbarians into slavery. It does seem. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going with that. But... Long weeks of battle followed, and the scattered barbarian tribes suffered terrible losses. Defeat seemed inevitable. Hey, Karth. In their darkest hour, a barbarian shaman named Gerard came forth and demanded a council between all the remaining tribes of the north. A respected warrior, Gerard persuaded the council to put aside their differences and unite against Erekon. <laughs> Strengthened by a new sense of purpose, the barbarians rallied behind their I am leader. running into this game pretty The combined cool, might of the Northmen proved more than a match for Arakan, who had counted on the division of the I think that's about as long tribes. as it's been since I actually touched anything resembling the Wave after wave of barbarian game. warriors so, tore into Arakan's uh, iron armor, forcing them on the defensive uh, and ultimately into full game. retreat. As his army crumbled around him, 
Aracon had time for one yeah, last probably gonna need desperate it. act before his enemies descended upon him. Drawing upon his remaining power, the Archmage breached the planar boundaries, tearing open a portal to the lower planes. The foolish Archmage's cries of victory immediately turned to shrieks of terror as the hideous and twisted shapes of demon kind materialized from the portal and poured onto the battlefield. The sudden appearance of the demons drove the combatants, barbarian and mercenary alike, to turn to meet the new threat side by side. The remaining warriors bravely charged the portal to drive the Hellspawn back and were slaughtered Yay. by the hundreds. Every good story has a bunch of Hellspawn eating As everyone, his people fell right? around him, the barbarian shaman, Jared, looked I up mean, from the blood-drenched snow of the uh, battlefield Warhammer and caught sight judge. of a lone figure right. high upon a ridge in the distance. Jared immediately recognized this vision as an omen from his god, Tempus. And in that instant, he knew what had to be done. Shouting cries to his god, bunch of subway he charged through the ranks of the demons and plunged into the portal. As Jared's blood fused with the energies of the portal, an explosion of white light engulfed the battlefield. When the light subsided, the demons were gone, and the portal I... was closed. <laughs> In its place hovered a disk of solid stone. Frozen within the center of the disk was Jared's body, locked in his final moment of agony, in his final moment yeah. of triumph for all so, eternity. So basically what we're learning here is Jared uh, Carbonite froze but himself that is not the end of to our stop a war. It is I think that's, the beginning. That's what I'm taking away from this. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is... <laughs> Let's, uh... Alright, so what does this pre-generated actually give us here? So it gives us a Barbarian Berserker. And if I'm remembering right, 1893 is pretty good strength. Because 18... 18 slash 93 is like that percentile whatever thing in the old... Oh man, these rules are very, very rusty on me. Um... Dexterity Constitution. Surprisingly charismatic for a barbarian or berserker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's more fun to roll your own characters anyway, right? Um, bye Felicia, no idea who you are, Th these are names that I probably couldn't pronounce anyway. Alright, uh, create, we're gonna create a new character, um, we're gonna make, I've always, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. I think we're going to start here. Make some sort of frontliner. Uh, let's see, frontliners are typically. I'm trying to remember all the. Improvision, strength and constitution, minus intelligence. These ones don't get any stat bonuses, right? Humans are kind of humans. Yeah. But then there's in this in this edition of the game, right? There's all the, like the half classes, and then there's uh, all sorts of stuff right that, right? Um, I forget. Is it actually better to run less than the six uh, maximum uh, party size? 
because in most games like this, the uh, the action economy benefits having more people uh, around in any specific combat. Half elf. Half elf looks like a pretty decent uh, thief. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it's it's always beneficial to have extra actions uh, in combat, right? So, halflings also, yep. Um, gnomes and elves are your typical. Well, gnomes, your looks like they like you to do the wizarding thing. Um, dwarfs, one of your. These guys are. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna start with the front line. Probably human. We'll just keep it pretty simple. Um, probably a front line fighter. I've always liked the paladins. Um, I think they give you a little bit of utility for like a front line class. Um, Yeah, these guys can just do all the damage with the weapons, and these guys actually give you some... Yeah, they give you a little bit more utility, right? So the Paladins will give you more utility, where this will just give you straight front line. Uh, we'll just go with the straight fighter. We'll keep it simple here first. Uh, oh, Kensei. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've jumping back into a really old system for me. I remember uh, playing Baldur's Gate way back when, and I think I had a Kensai ridiculousness um, going on. Yeah. <laughs> for this first, uh, first jump back into it, I think uh, we're going to keep it relatively simple on some of these things, just so I kind of know where I'm coming from. Uh, ch 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 I'm pretty sure I don't want an evil. Uh, we'll keep a relatively good party this time around. Neutral good on the fighter. Abilities, okay. So, fighter frontline we want... Strength, constitution, dexterity, if we can manage it. Don't really care so much about intelligence. Let's see if we can't get something a little bit better here to start off with. Wow. That's... <laughs> Look at that roll, that's awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, this is, this is your standard uh, meat shield type build, right? So you want as much as possible on your physical stats and pretty much nothing else matters. Um, let's see if we can't get a little bit of a better setup here. You can go down. We'll just drop everything to 10 here and see what that gets us for these. Kill the email for now. We're streaming. That's just rude. There. This is looking better. <laughs> How low can we dump charisma? Pretty low, right?
Yeah. Take this. We'll just dump charisma to minimum. Eighteen seventy, getting closer. gonna sit here and just re-roll all the time. As much as I would like to get the most overpowered character in the world. That seems reasonable enough. Okay, so I'm forgetting what swords are available early enough. Um, this is a front line. I think sword and shield is kind of where we want to go. Maybe a bastard sword? I don't know, is there like a particularly bad weapon style in this? Because if I had my... I'd probably pick something like that. Um... Hmm, interesting. Dual axes sounds kind of fun. Do I want to take mastery right off? So specialize, plus one to hit, plus two to damage, and an extra half attack per round. Yeah. Do we get to add to these styles? It looks like I can't take mastery right off the bat, so we'll just double up the axes here. And that'll give us pretty good to hits there. That's right. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Where do we want to go here? Um, this is not quite fashion souls here, but That's not a human skin color. That's closer to a human skin color. Oh boy. I forgot you get to pick the sounds. My aim shall be true. By Clankadin's twin axes. That seems more like someone who has a charisma of six or eight or whatever it is. I'm gonna pick that voice. Uh, anyone got a good name? Because if it's up to me, she's going to get named, like, Jenny or something like that. <laughs> Brunhilda. That seems within her, uh, kind of her character concept, her high concept of the character. I like it. Really? That's cool. I, uh... Don't know too much Norse mythology or anything in that sort of area. Except for random things you learn in the Dresden Files books, which is... Uh, I don't know how close that is to the actual real thing. 
All right, so we've got our fighter. Um, we're gonna make a man here. I think we're gonna make ourselves a thief. The Dresden Files books? Uh, yeah, they're really good. If you if you like the genre, they're really good. Um, it's it is a lot of books. That's fair. Uh, what is it? Thirteen books or something like that. But they actually do read very quickly for their size, even though they're legitimate. Uh, they're like legitimate novels at 200 to 300 pages. Um, they do read pretty quickly, I found. And uh, the writing is very, it's very active, and it's a very like engaging writing style, um, which is pretty common for most of his. We're gonna pick that, I guess. Uh, race. Uh, We're making a thief here. Although, it's been really annoying since he's been on book, he's been writing book 14 for like four years. He had a bunch of like personal life issues and things, like I think he got divorced and got sidetracked by a bunch of other stuff. Let's take a look. Saving throws, paralysis, that's nice. Um, slings, open locks, find traps. You are correct, halflings are the best thieves. We're gonna, we're gonna do that then. Oh yeah, yeah. Second edition. Uh, your class is restricted by your race. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, thieving abilities. Backstab. Yeah, this is back when there was like uh, natural classes and preferred classes and like class limits. Oh boy. Yep. They're gonna be a thief. Um, I think we're gonna take straight up thief here. Uh, I do want someone to find uh, traps for me because that's I have many horror stories playing this tabletop where we just died because of traps maybe that's bad DMing but we're gonna go just straight up thief here alignment I feel like thieves really do belong in the neutrals um, abilities so, Gnome Thief, you're going to want Dex, Intelligence, Strength is probably not necessary. Uh, what's, because it's all percentage chance now. Gnome Thief, Halfling Thief. Did I do Halfling? I did Halfling, right? Yes, I did, Halfling, okay. So let's see. Constitution is always nice because that'll get you hit points. Uh, charisma, I don't plan on having him talk to anyone. Uh, Dex goes to 18. Oh, yeah, you can. The max goes differently. Because they get the plus one for the ability stat, so their max goes up to 19. Um. Oh, is this like... So their stats here for this don't really matter for any of like, the physical classes? Is that how that goes? Um, so maybe I'm just stuck in the uh, old... Let's see if we can't get maybe a few more points here. Maybe I'm just stuck in, you know, 3 plus edition where intelligence and wisdom change like your spot chances. Maybe that's just, is that just in the class and in the class, like, skill points and buy points as we go on? <laughs> uh, there's nothing broken about this game at all. 
Uh, we're gonna be the other than the one, uh, the one charisma person, the face to talk to everyone. I think everyone else is gonna be just complete garbage human beings. I feel. No more than 16? Does it not help at more than 16 con? Oh yeah, max 18's here. Hmm. Make him smarter, I guess. Huh. Skills. Okay, so I get 40 points here. Um, as much as I want to pickpocket everyone, I think I want to not die to finding traps or failing to find traps. Okay, so like, detect illusions is something that as you level up, you want to just keep throwing stuff into. So that like, late game, you can sit there and you don't have to waste, uh, waste spell slots and spell preps for a true sight. You can just have your... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. 35 points per level. So, let's see. Level 1200, okay. So, 12 at, let's say, 5 points per level at 60, so 10 points. Are these the percentile dice rolls? Or is this like uh, some sort of difficulty reference, you know? Okay. Well, I think if we're a percentile... <laughs> Something like that seems reasonable, I think. Rather find traps and we'll keep throwing five to ten ish points into Detect Illusion as we go along and get that one up. So that seems fine. Uh, let's see, these guys, uh, they get the sling bonus. Halflings do, right? So what, sling and short sword or dagger, something like that? actually going to use any of that. Um, short bows, really. I don't know why the hair really matters if you're in a cloak all the time. But I feel like yellow hair... That's too dark. That skin... Um, I feel like if your hair does matter, but he's wearing a hood all the time, like we can't even see his hair, like what's the, <laughs> um, I feel like you want a brightly colored, uh, thief, I think that makes, you just want to distract him with the colors so they don't notice that you're getting backstabbed, so, 
white and is there a pink? Let's go with the let's go with the pink. Yeah. The silent blade cuts best. <laughs> I'll take care. Yeah. Uh, the silent blade cuts best. I, that feels good enough. Um, thief names. Thief names. These these gotta be. I feel like every thief name is a little bit edge lordy. Fafnir. Where's that name from? I'll take it. All right. We'll accept that. We got a Fafnir in the... Brunhilde Fafnir. We're going full Norse in this party. Icewind Dale. That makes sense. All right. Um... We're going to go with... A cleric now of some sort. Yeah. Huh. I like it. <laughs> so greedy. Murdered his family. Stole a cursed ring he knew was cursed. And then... Turn himself into a dragon. I feel like that's probably what's gonna happen with him. Like, we're gonna try and play him straight up and it's like semi nice for like the first stream or two, and then all of a sudden he's gonna turn into just this like pickpocketing monster. <laughs> I feel like that's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> Alright, so we're building a cleric here. Um, those guys are fighter types. Gnomes are maybe wizardy types. Intelligence is kind of what puts you there. The minus to wisdom is not awesome. Oh, is that is that in this game? The elves and half elves are okay. Yeah, they get the con. You don't really care about the charism and the dex. Um, Dwarven Cleric's a pretty good, pretty good well-known archetype here, so we're gonna go with the Cleric. Turn Undead, Priest Spells, Non-Bladed, Non-Piercing Weapons. My first, uh, my first ever D&D character, Tabletop, was a Cleric of, uh, Corellan Lorethian, I think. So I was actually playing an Elven Cleric back in 2nd edition. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, and back in those days, we were playing with all of like the additions and all the, all the supplements and everything else. So there was like a history roll percentage dice. <laughs> Holy power. Chaos of battle. Spell lasts one turn by having effect harder armor class. Thacko saves. Magnitude effect starts from one. Improved by one every six levels. Sweet. Glory to Tempest, the Thunder God. Here we go. I feel like that fits with the theme of our party. Um, okay. So Tempest is the god of fighters. Was he not also? So he's the god of fighters and strength, and was he not also? Did he not also have like a lightning motif to him? I thought it was a lightning motif. Um... I feel like chaotic neutral is appropriate for fighter god. 
Yeah, so the only time I really remembered too much about Tempest is uh, reading the uh, original, like, Drift to Warden, uh series, the... all that sort of stuff, where Icewind Dale was, like, really introduced in there. Um, and it was just uh, Wolfgar yelling Tempest all the time and throwing his hammer. Uh, <laughs> okay. This looks like a pretty good total roll here. So we're gonna want strength, constitution, wisdom. Yeah, so. I'll drop that and. Yeah, so basically you want to max all of your physical skills on pretty much every character you can, right? Oh, I can have a one charisma? I really want a one charisma. This is... This makes it so much better. Uh, Alright, so you go up to 18... 19? Oh, because they get the bonus, right? So... I think I'd listen to these things. Um, Alright, so you can be smart. That's okay. Charisma 1. This feels good. Good. Skills! Um, hmm. There's one charisma check in the game. <laughs> well, I mean, back in this day, the games weren't nearly as... They, they didn't try and throw all of the things at you in the same way they do with modern games. Um, like uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, it's almost impossible if you're not running a full party to get anywhere close to doing all of the checks that you need to do, right? So you're just going to fail some of them naturally. Yep. Yep, Dungeon Crawler sounds right. So I feel like he's also going to be maybe a Sword and Shield? And... Is that a Sword and Shield? Anyone can pick up a shield? No, this is... He doesn't get to use swords, right? So... Uh... Warhammer and... what I... I was wondering if that was what it meant. Sword and shield is actually weapon and shield or shield style. Take that. I don't need him to be all big damage dealer. Give him maces. I'll bet maces are relatively common. They're pretty pretty standard sort of fair weapon. Uh, okay. So, let's see. We want heal bot. Oh, not not cause light wounds, cure light wounds. Uh, wrong. Wrong heal. Uh, ch 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 bless. Attack and damage rolls by one. Less seems good. Command. Oh, yes. And the rest of these don't seem like something I necessarily want to do. Bless is like a good party buff. Um, not really planning on that. Yeah, I'll take command.
the sanctuary on the list. So, mace. Sword shield. Oh yeah, that one gives you like super invul. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think we're going to still stick with our sort of semi-support cleric for now. Tempest. Tempest, Tempest. Uh, let's see. White-haired. I think he needs to be crazy white-haired. Um, let's give him some a little bit of color. Not like yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, red, white, maybe. Did I just create Santa Claus? Tempest is blue. I think I just created Santa Claus. Um, I don't need. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep it in flavor with blue, even though I think uh, Santa will, will have to come through at some point. Um, <laughs> Murder Santa. Actually, I like that idea. Where is the... I think that's the red we want. Yep. Yeah, Murder Santa, so I feel like he probably needs a fighter. Yeah, that seems correct for a Charisma one. We call him Nicholas. Yeah, right? He's not jolly, he just grunts all the time. It's not ho ho ho, it's rrr, 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 rrr. right? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, now we need a mage. Uh. Seems mage-ish. Sure. Alright. Mages are what? Gnomes? So I've got a plan on not dying if I make a make a mage out of an elf, right? plan on not dying and see how that goes. I might regret that here soon. Ah, uh, that's right. Gnomes and illusions very strongly tied back in this edition. wild mage. I think I'm just going to go with the standard mage here, but one additional spell. Oh, is this like sorcerers? Precursor to sorcerers? Like modern sorcerers? Yeah. Divination probably just want a generic mage. 
doesn't give me the extra spell, but I'm not really limited like the other ones are. Nice. <laughs> Just random dice rolls destroying your entire adventure. That seems actually like, uh, like old second edition if you played it with the right stuff. <laughs> um, I believe mages are supposed to be true neutral. That's how I always play them. So these ones are, you want intelligence maxed. I feel like if, if I do this, I'm going to want to run like three wild mages in a group at some point just for the ran randomness. Call it suboptimal Sunday or something like that. Um, 80. Okay, so. Wisdom. Nobody needs to be wise here. Uh, con. 15, 16. about as good as you're going to get on rolls, like totals. Do I want to be super weak, or can I afford... What's the Wisdom 14 get me? Okay. Looking forward to some spells. Well, hopefully she doesn't have to do anything, or Strength 5 might get a little annoying. Let's see how that goes. Um... Yeah, that's right, it's, it's the carrying capacity, so basically she won't be able to carry anything. Always go dark. When she runs out of spells, she just runs around throwing darts, yelling lightning bolt. Is that is that what we're doing here? Nice. Okay. Gives me shock and grasp and spoof. What the heck is Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Yep, that's gonna be us <laughs> once she runs out of spells. So this is like a fear effect and it runs away if it fails its save. Shock and grasp is, you know, uh, run your feet along the floor a bunch uh, over your carpet and then go touch someone. Um, Because that requires you to get close, right? You don't want... Good old sleep. Just put stuff put stuff to sleep early on, right? And then... What does this thing do? Oh, yes. Identify is handy.
and then just pick up other spells as we go. Can we add spells to our spell book in this in this edition? Like we just pick up random spells. Yeah, that's what. Um, I guess I'll have sleep memorized at the beginning of the game. Can always stop and rest and rememorize identify if I find something I need to identify. So that's what we'll do there. Green hair, because hair matters, and we want to stand out. We don't want to be just a random drab adventuring party here. Slightly blue skin seems fun. Um, ooh, that's a cool color. Yeah, just a complete clash of colors. I like it. Um, hmm. Let me at him. I shall slay you all. I will endeavor to be a wise leader. That's too controlled. By Gerdal's shield. I should lead by divine right. <laughs> Just need someone as flamboyant as her rolling around, right? Prepare to be destroyed. Yes, strong leadership is key. <laughs> I must have rest. Yeah, that seems that seems correct there. All right. Charisma got the dart. Seems reasonable. Name. Um. No, that's perfect. I love it. <laughs> you two might, might get along. Um, what are we getting for a good name here? I can see why you'd want to get rid of the headphones. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, what's the... Wayne. I don't know. Huh. But it's going to be all capitals. Okay, we've got all those. Okay, now we need an actual face. I don't know why. I just feel like I want like someone who can talk to people. Um, who looks Barty here? Yeah, for the one charisma check. I want to be prepared. It might be an important charisma check. You don't... Actually, you probably know. I don't know. Um, these are the important things. Making sure your character portrait matches your feeling. <laughs> Look at him, he's got drums. This is our bard. <laughs> Alright, um... Does anyone have... 
a charisma bonus. No? Probably just a human then. Alright, we'll make him a human. Uh, ch -ch 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 bard? Do they lose a bunch of their, like, spell casting or something? Some bonus to hit and damage rolls. Skull Song. Plus two to hit and damage. Plus two bonus to AC. Tale of Current Strongheart. Tomorrow's Melody. War Chant of Sith. This uh, Icewind Dale Star Wars crossover? Is that what we're playing here? I feel like a Scald is a little bit more in theme with our party. Getting like a Nordic theme. We don't hit 20th level in this, right? So, like, the 20th level is not really a concern. But I have a thief already. Do I need two thieves? One as a backup? We will hit 20. Alright, we're going with Scald. I need like my war drum banging bard here. I think that's I think that's what we need. I think that's what this party really needs to make itself chaotic neutral. Because of course. Alright. So we need Charisma. Minimum 15. Charisma, Dexterity, Constitution. So the minimum I can have is 13. So I want Con up as far as possible. Making a lot of these guys mad. Skullgrimson, yes. I'm reading about Skullgrimson. Ugh. My monitor's too far away, I can't read everything all the time. It doesn't look horrific. Yeah, maybe drop the strength and just go with like a like a semi ranged bard. Just no wisdom. Yeah, 
They get wizard spells. Okay. Something like that. So given that we've dumped strength, uh, short bow seems like a good plan. Shortbow and crossbow. Just give us some options. Oh, that's right. Because these things just do the damage. I'm still... The dart thing is hilarious. I'm just imagining mages running around yelling lightning bolt the entire time. Alright, bards. Um, that's that's all I'm seeing in my head right now. Uh, the Witcher. What's the Witcher's bard? Is he all brown? Everyone's brown in that. Something like that. Where's the hair? A slight amount of blue hair. Um, a slight tinge of green. Maybe he's a bit sick. Here I come, and the hells come with me. Gods grant me strength. I would be honored. That's too controlled. You'll soon sleep with the dead. I'll be the leader for now. Just uh, don't stand between me and the exit. I'm tired of trotting around like a damn mule. Let's find an inn and some warm beds. Steal yourselves. It is an honor. Wow, with darts. Ten attacks in a round with darts. That's amazing. When you get to throw out that many attacks, even if they're just doing, like, a couple damage, you can do a lot of work if you're throwing out a bunch of attacks. Alright, and then, so we've got Fighter, Thief, Cleric, Mage, Bard, probably one more Frontline Fighter-ish, Frontish Line Fighter. Oh, sweet. Got an actual famous person with us. Hmm. Make a tank. That'll probably be like a dwarf fighter. ourselves let's 
Dwarven Defender any good? Trying exclusively out of Dwarven Warfare. resistance to all physical damage plus two to saving throws and a 50% movement penalty so very very slow cool gains damage resistance essentially um this seems like what we want for uh So this one's basically the same way. We don't need any charisma here. No charisma required. I'm gonna give this a couple tries to see uh, see what we can do for strength. Centaur rolls are not being kind to me. There we go. Alright, so we can dump charisma. Max Constitution, because we happen to be a fighter this time, so... Seems good. Alright, so... This is a Dwarven Defender. So I am supposed to do either Warhammers or... Let's see, we're gonna want Sword and Shield. Female? Male? I don't know. By Kangadin's twin axes! Yeah, this is a female. But Kangadin's twin axes sounds perfect. Alright. Fighty Dwarf. Yeah, we, I think I'm gonna just go... Um, this is a character from some of the latest uh, Forgotten Realms, Dritz novels, something like that. Um, she's 
kind of like a super battle fighter dwarf sort of thing. So we'll pick that for now, and we have our party. That's not too bad. Our tale begins here, in the quiet fishing village of East Haven, one of the so-called ten go. towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lech Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, Scrimshaw, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. Oh, that's done? Okay. Oh, boy. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might uh -oh. you be? My charisma's low, but I think I am going to say hi. And not be such a huge dick. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best yeah. behavior. Uh, that sounds like a threat. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. It is really nice to see that a lot of this stuff from this guy, Lisa, all boys. That said, I'll let I you get back to your continue. cups. I don't remember. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find <laughs> there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. I'm sure Once you've be had fine. a chance to be dangerous about Icewind Dale. It's just a little Come by snow. and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Yeah. My, uh, I, I picked this up, I think, once for about 20 minutes uh, a, a while back just to play with the characters. And I remember that there's, you can go down and help what's her name in the basement here. And it got to the point where we were just sitting around doing nothing, fighting the beetles or whatever it is that are down there. Uh, on it! That's a wonderful voice you got there. Yes. Brunhilda. Alright, um, let's see. I Oops. shall do my best. Well, Met, why you seem to like me. You seem to be like. Oh, wow. This is gonna be. I don't know if I can read this out. Why you seem to me to be a, like a fresh vein of ore, all untried and untested. I be Hildreth, should ye wish to know. Um, do I insult him for his name? Um, I'm going to ask him what he means. Uh, look at this adventuring thing. No offense intended, we have... We all have to start somewhere if you're looking for tips. I even have some news that might prove interesting. Ooh, what news? Uh, not all eyes and ears here. Mostly I've been keeping my cups to keep the chill away, but I've heard the local sword named Rothgar is putting together some sort of expedition. Ooh. I feel like this is some uh, setting up some future stuff, you know. Right here, say that Rothgar be a valiant man, but not the type to go dashing off to his death. They say he be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of disturbance up there. He'd best be talking to Rothgar himself to hear the full story. Oof. I don't feel like it's southern. I can't do the Scottish brogue, though. Um. I, I don't know if I believe...
<laughs> yeah, it's a very subtle foreshadow, right? <laughs> All right. Um, townsperson is probably not going to be super interesting. Oh my god, a minstrel! Hasn't been much in the way of entertainment since old Jed fell off his boat. <laughs> Small and Dennis here. Old Jed. Old Jed fell off his boat. We had to fish him out before he pickled the lake. So, minstrel. <laughs> the one charisma check immediately in the beginning. Uh, going to regale the winter's cradle with a few uh, tails tonight. Yeah, I think my scald can like bang on his drums and scream out battle. Uh, battle history? That seems... Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's... Death on the battlefield! <laughs> Play them all alive! Valor, glory, honor, a death worth dying. Amen. <laughs> Just roll off. That's that's what I believe his performance is going to be like. Ooh, that went well. <coughs> Fine verse, friend, and quite stirring, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of envisioning him, I know he's a skull, but I'm kind of envisioning like Maori warrior, like, uh, haka dance. Like pre, pre-battle haka dance is kind of what I'm envisioning here. <laughs> uh, I can't remember my brother the South, he's a musician too, should pass along, it's the next one of me, it's not much. All right. Success, I got the moon thing. Um, moon stone, whatever it is. Uh, totally worth building an entire character for one check. <laughs> Lived here for quite a span. Uh, weather's been bad. Yeah, totally worth it. I got a moon stone. I mean, obviously it was worth the effort. Snow's bad. Um, giving me the the innkeeper Quimby. He's right enough sort. He should have plenty of rooms available. But he just got an elf guest from the south. Yeah, at least the battle song seems reasonable. So that like my actual fighting won't be too terribly reduced. So I feel like we need to talk to the elf at some point. Um, is there anything else? Uh, no. This might end up being like a super completionist uh, walkthrough at some point here. Because I can't help but play these games and want to do every little thing. Um, okay. This is just another opportunity. This is who's that sound town person. Don't care. Uh, town person, don't care. Alright, let's go talk to her. She can give us a quest, right? She gives us the quest to go downstairs. Which I'll go get equipment before I go downstairs, I think. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm a bit of a bind. Just run out of everything. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at the moment. What kind of tavern are you running here? I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Uh, I'm not gonna go... I'm not gonna go straight aggro... aggro man here. Um, it is really funny, because you would never see... In, in most games, you wouldn't see a line option. 
I don't care what you I don't care what you think, woman. Go down and get it. <laughs> all right, son. Uh, thanks for all the help. Uh, I'll probably be doing this sort of thing every sort of Thursday morning for me. So come back about the same time, and we'll be playing some more. Uh, thanks for all the help and the follow. Awesome. All right. Oh, I haven't read all this sort of stuff. Uh, this is rather embarrassing, but having somewhat of a pest problem. Afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs. That's true. Bugs are creepy. Um, just the thought of those nasty creepies and crawlies. Okay. Hmm. This guy's chaotic neutral. So I believe that would be his answer. Uh, let's piss her off a little bit. That sounds reasonable. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, stranger, up here in East Haven, we may be out of the frontier, but we do manage to act civilized toward one another. If you can't at least try to be polite, then there's the door. Eerie. All right, fine. I'll help you with your bug problem. Um... We'll, we'll go for a price here. Uh, scrape together a couple of coins as payment. Let me see. How about five gold? Uh, can you actually screw up this quest? Um, all right. I'll take the job. Yes? Alright, we're gonna go actually get some, uh... Will do! Get some gear here. Let's poke him with a stick, that's mean. Oh, the squirrel. Got a bunch of annoying little kids on a squirrel. So what's the... This is the Winter's Cradle Where Tavern. Pomab's Emporium. I believe that's where we want to go. No problem. We're gonna go get some. Uh. I think I want to set up. At some point here, I'm gonna have to set up my order, my marching order. Pomabs here. All right, what do we got? What's over here? Okay, let's see. Thick plush carpets have been rolled for easy storage. No More thick plush carpets. Stocked with various sundry items, books, parchment, clothing. Shells. Okay. Anything else cool? What's that? Leather satchels. Obviously of poor quality and workmanship. Their stitching is loose and haphazard and it's... Okay. So we don't want any of those satchels. Oil lamps. Shells. Okay. Let's go talk to Pomab. More barbarians? Oh, that's that's not the way to start this conversation, Paul Mab. Um, let's get this over with. What do you want? Uh, I tell you, you're not from around here. I'm Pomab Axazmir. Royal Diplomatic Envoy of Kalimshan and appointed Overseer of Northern Caravan Routes. Um, <laughs> I 
Yes. Yes, this is the correct answer. Uh, <laughs> your attempted sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I am third cousin to the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. Such a good standing, Kalimshan, then why in the nine hells are you doing up here in Icewind Dale? I'm thinking you're bringing that with cold weather. Uh, no, I'm going to ask him why the hell he's up here in Icewind Dale. Um, Convenient excuse for the posh to get rid of the oil paint in his arse. Yes. Uh, did you ever hear of such a post before you got appointed to it? Nope. Oop, that's probably a bad sign. Tip to everyone out there. If someone creates a job posting that seems shitty and then appoints you to it, there's probably a good reason. Just, I'm throwing that out there. Good life advice. You heard it here first. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I, I grew tired of your. I grow tired of your ridiculous. It's too early in the morning for me to read. Apparently, I grow tired of your ridiculous questions. I have many obligations to lend to, tend to, so I suggest you quit wasting my time. Either buy something or get out. All right, let's see what he's got, and let's see what I have for money. I have six hundred and thirty gold. So. Um, Everyone has quarter staves. Oh, he's got a moonstone gem. What does a moonstone gem actually do? Can I just sell it? Selling all the quarter staves. Except for maybe the mages. Sell. Sell. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's our Dwarven Defender, which means she gets a large shield. A Warhammer. Battle axe. Okay. So a Warhammer is what she gets. And she's also going to get what is this? Weight forty. Armor class four. Not usable by, like, everyone who's not a fighter. Armor class 5. Does this slow you down at all, like any of the new stuff? It doesn't look like it does. 3 versus slashing, 7 versus crushing, and this is just 3 versus piercing, 2 versus crushing. So, uh, Tana Britches is going to get Chainmail. Okay, all the expensive gear here, so, or did I get chain mail or splint mail? I gave her splint mail, so, um, she's going to get a dart, so, darts, I would like. One, two, three. Okay. Um, Fafnir is going to get a sling. Then 
bullets. Oh, I think I gave this guy crossbow. Um, we're going to check our stats here. Um, that's inventory. So she's got two weapon style and axes. So we're that's right. So we're gonna do that there. He's a short sword and sling. So we'll get him a short sword if we have some stuff left. But he's probably just gonna sling his way through. What's this guy? Mace and short and shield. So we're gonna get him a shield, a mace, and probably the heaviest armor we can manage here. She is dart, so we got her darts, and basically can't wear armor, right? So may not wear any armor. Can't use any fighting styles. Okay. So We've already equipped her. Um, we've got Warhammer, short, Sword and Shield. She's our tank, so that's why we give her the heaviest armor. Um, he is a crossbow and dart fiend. So that's... Okay. So we're going to armor her up and get her her weapons, and then he needs armor, because we already got him slings. Okay. Give me something. Okay, so you, you need uh, axes are where you're at, so... battle axes I might pick up helmets here if uh, if I have time and uh, if I have gold um, we'll also get you splint because you're up front um, you have slings and bullets. Uh, seven. Armor class eight, so he's going to get studded leather. It's a mace. And we'll save the armor here for a second. Moonstone gem. So you're going to get... A light crossbow. And bolts. Okay, so now I have 258 to equip. So he's got armor. So I need armor and shield here. I can't get anything there. I need armor here. I've got that there and I've got that there. Okay, so I need armor and shield. like he's just getting a medium shield and so I need 
armor, shield, armor. Okay. So you have armor, you have armor. You have weapon and shield, you just have the weapon, you don't get any armor. What armor can he wear? He can wear chain, which I am tempted to do. And if I do that, then he can wear... ...258, so that's... Uh... I can get both of them chain. And then if I get both of them chain, then uh, I can get, so let's chain, that's 224, 258, that means I can get him a medium shield, and I might be able to get helmets for some of my fighters. Okay, that'll work. So, chain. Give me two. pounds and I've got seven pounds how much how much does it weigh 40 pounds okay so I'm gonna struggle wearing anything more than that 25 pounds 170 pounds <laughs> she can hold 15 pounds Jesus so basically everyone so if I give him this that's all he can that's basically his entire inventory Okay, that's fine. And then he gets that, and then we're going to give him the medium shield. I'm going to buy that, and then... I love this. This class of decorative helmet made reinforced lever and metal covers the face and head. Eye slits and breathing holes come highly recommended. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, Twenty four, which means I can get him a helmet or her a helmet, him a helmet, and her a helmet. That seems reasonable. So I would like to buy all three. Done. Okay. Um, let's go with uh, inventories here. So, uh,. goes in there, that goes in there, and then you get a helmet, wow that helmet looks goofy, uh, you get armor, Okay, super armored up. Um, you get armor. Weapon number. 
number one, weapon number two, and a helmet. You get a helmet. Oh, and this goes down here. You get that. I don't currently have any wizard spells, so we're going to armor them up. We'll sell that later. Um, Okay, I think that's what we're going to go with right now. Um, we'll see if the splint... I'm not sure if that splint mail was the correct choice, because the dexterity is minus four. I mean, that admittedly puts, like, the character's dexterity at... Yes? You know, 14 still. Like, all these guys have basically max dex, so... Um, so we've got Kit. Where are they at? No problem. Oh, come on. Leave the door. Okay. On it. forgot how you're supposed to do this. Um, Alright. We're going to go down here real quick and uh, kill some On it. kill some beetles. Orders here, Brunhilda. Uh, you go nuke that dude. Um, yes. Can I move you up here, please? Thank you. Um, cleric, mage, you go back here. Here. Yes. You're attacking over here. I am ready. Scald, you're gonna join. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. Yes. These three and throwing at these two. All right, here we go. Fine. Some action. Success. So um, many jobs, so little time. Find traps. No traps. Can I thieve anything down here? I don't think I can. Disappears. I'm gonna have to use that. Fine. Hide and shadows failed. That's not very awesome. Where are they at? And we 
wouldn't create a strong smelling bruise. Yes, let's get Point some. Me to a... On it. Uh, face, face. Where are you? Quickly now. Scald, go tell her of tales of battle. Reasonable request. It is done. That's fine. Thank you, dearie. You're a lifesaver. Just do me one more favor. Keep this little bug problem between me and you. I don't want folks thinking Grisella's place isn't clean. Run along now. Party has gained five gold. Hooray. Fight. On it. We're rich. Five gold in a party. Right? That's That's a thing, right? Who are you? Yes. Skald, go talk to him. You're the only charismatic person in this entire party. Never mind. Go talk to the little kids. You sure have neat stuff. I don't care about you. Tizello, you got anything cool to say? That's what she said. Come, come up with something new. 